fucking always run out of BBs. Never mind. Anybody else got a 177? Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Seems I've done it again. gonna sit and take a minute to take this in i've literally just finished it the paint is still wet it's that wet i had to put that barrel on i've got fingerprints all over it uh i've got some olive green paint coming for the little parts uh what to say you all know what this is and it is now an air gun this ain't no airsoft it is a little bit tight on the end. Get, get into this. Right. So inside that is a Crossman C11 CO2 pistol firing 4.5mm BBs. Standard pistol. They have 480 FPs. It's a no-brainer. Cheap, cheap airsoft gun. I've literally just gutted this apart. I was so excited. I didn't even set up with my tripod and make a good scene behind me. Uh, I, what, what can you say, guys? One thing I'm quite happy with that managed to work. This doesn't do anything, but i still got the charging handle. It's just awesome. I can't wait to get this painted. Obviously, that is all plastic, but. Look how well that has fitted together. Still see a bit of the rail off the pistol. It is a little bit offset. I'm going to have to put something in there, pack it. Just need to tug it over a little bit. That. That is crazy. Definitely want to hear it. Sorry. Look at that spin CO2. Quite close so you can hear it. Right. I need to get some big bees in here because I haven't actually tested it. I've gone straight for a video here. Cut a few BBs in, see if this actually works. I like the Barrett. This has gone so easy. And as for that Barrett, I have lost the rear Picatinny rail. And it's the one part that holds the front and the rear together. Obviously, where we've been redoing the house, everything is getting moved around and around and around. And I can't find anything. It is an absolute nightmare. So I've either thrown it away or it's just been misplaced. So unfortunately, I can't carry on doing videos with that at the moment, which is very depressing because I've sort of done a test and it was left at that. All right, a few BBs in there. I did bring out Macroni, you know. Um, yeah, I brought out Macroni. So you have to take me word for that though, guys. In a garage, I've got stuff everywhere, so I've not really got anywhere to show. But obviously, you can hear babies rattling around in that still. That's, that's how eager I was to do this. I didn't even empty them out. So, I That's it, no more rattling BBs. We're gonna find something to do with this. It all fits in here properly, but you yeah, know, I might even be able to fit a DPMS bag in here, just so it's metal. All right, we are loaded up. That's nicely padded. All right, it's just gonna be a test. That 
is shooting pretty well. I think that's my stuff. I can shoot with my stuff, can't I? I'll tell you what. I'm impressed with myself. That is actually shooting pretty straight. So I've still got some babies in there. I want to do a quick crony test for you all and all. And babies. Sorry, guys. Should have got some more in. I just take this side. Just put a few in. If only this was full water, eh? Right? I have to campaign for that one here in England, so it's just a bit stupid, really. You got a full auto there, so there's not a lot of difference in power. Oh, lost half the bay base. There is one downside to this though, I have no safety on it, unless I cut another little hole for it. Safety's about there somewhere, so if I cut a little notch I can use it. But... Finger. Don't pull the trigger too hard. You know, I do get some funny comments on my channel. Got a couple where I'm literally just showing the guns. You want to see the whole thing, I'll point it at myself. There's no CO2, there's no gas, there's no beep, it's just, you know, shut up. And safety's on. I'm not going to hurt myself with an empty air gun. All right, guys, so you ain't going to be able to see this properly, so. I've got to show you, right, it's not in properly. Four fifteen. That means it didn't work. It's not working properly. All right. It's just a three ninety three. It's quite cold here, though, guys. It's really cold at night. Three ninety six. Could be down the bay bays though. They are a heavy, heavy bay bay. Oh, that hit the side. That hit the side. Yeah, three ninety five. So that still ain't bad. I don't think this thing is great though. Bit of a cheap one. Needs to be set up properly, I think. I know. The power is besides the point. That is what? Forty pound pistol in. I'm not going to tell you how much that was. It was cheap. It's taken me since twelve o'clock last night. I've probably done a couple of hours stripping it down. Sprayed up all the little bits. Primer. That's all there is to it. scoop out all the insides and make it fit. But it's just a chance, guys, you know. You try something like this, it's a chance. That's fucking awesome. I'm just going to call it an SA80. I love the SA80. What is it, an L85A2? Oh. No, I just love the fin. Never gonna get one. I'm not paying out for an airsoft. I made me on. What can I say? We're gonna do a proper video tomorrow, guys. It's getting quite late, and I wanna go and eat. Say I'm starving. Bad enough. Get cleaned up. Just gonna sit and look at it for a while. Let me know what you think, guys. This is obviously a first of its kind. It's basically a car buying kit, but um. I forgot to say, I've actually ordered some barrel. I hope it's going to work. It's not a proper barrel, but I'm probably going to strip the pistol down. 
put no barrel into it, so it's going to be extended as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share your friends. I hope you neighbours. See you all soon. I'll get another video out for you tomorrow. Broke me, I knocked one down. Oh my god.